HTTP is one of the best and amazing Flutter packages on web. So, in this video, we will see the easiest and the best way to use this package. Get the dependency on your pubspec.yaml file and get the package. Then under your lib folder, create post.dat file. Then create this model class like this and add the factory constructor from JSON like this. Then on your main.dat file, import this package and create the main function. Then create my app widget, then call home widget a widget which we are going to call it later. For the demonstration of API requests, we will use a sample post data from the sample holder. Do you want to learn Flutter in a better and faster way? Then simply join our 12-week Flutter training on heyflutter.com where you master all the Flutter topics such as Dart, UI design, state management, Firebase, clean architecture, databases and so on by watching our structured courses that help you for each topic to go from a newbie until an expert level in Flutter. So let's start by fetching data from the internet. To fetch data from the internet, first create this class, then define these two variables. Here, we use the http.get with the given URI to fetch data from the internet. If the response status code is 200, which means the request was successful, we will return the fetch data. Else, we will throw an exception with a message failed to load post. To create post, first create this class with two variables. Then create these requests with the given variables and your user ID. Then define these two variables. Here we use HTTP post with the given URL and the body with the created request. If the response status code is 201, which means the request was successful, so we will return the created post data. Else, we will throw an exception with the message failed to load post. To update a given post, first create this class, then create the request like this. Then define these two variables. Here we used http.put with the given URL and a body with a request we created. If the response status code is 200, which means the request was successful, we will return the updated post data. Else, we will return an exception with a failed to load post message. To delete a given post, first create this delete post class. Then define these two variables. Here we used http.delete with the given URL. Then, if the response status code is 200, which means the request was successful, and our post is deleted, else we will throw an exception with failed to load post message. So let's create the user interface. First create this stateful widget, then create this post variable, then create these four buttons. First on get button click inside set state, we have assigned the fetch post data to our post variable. Then on delete button click inside set state, we have assigned the delete post data on our post variable. Then on post button clicked inside set state, we have assigned our create post data to our post variable and define the requested title and body. On our update button click inside set state, we have assigned an updated post data to the post variable and defined our requested title and body. And on the build method, return scaffold. Under the scaffold body, we will create a future builder. Here, we have two essential parameters, the future and the builder. And we will assign our post variable to the future property of the future builder. Under the builder, if the value of the snapshot is waiting, we'll return a circular progress indicator. And if the snapshot value is none, we'll return a container. And if the snapshot value is completed and has data, we'll return a widget, build data widget, with a given context in the snapshot. So let's create this widget. Here we created build data widget with two parameters. And to show the fetch data, we use the snapshot.data.title for the title. And we use the snapshot.data.description for the description. Finally, if the snapshot value is completed and has an error, we will return the error message and return empty container for any other conditions. Inside the column, under the feature builder, create these four sized block widgets and inside them create the buttons and call their equivalent methods, which we have created earlier. So let's try the app and press the get button to see if the app fetches the data from the server and the post button to see if the app creates a new file and upload it to the server and the update button if the app updates the given post and finally press the delay button if the app deletes the given post. 